Hotel Latif here in Samarkand. It's had a few days resting here and other things. I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we get on the way. Okay. But nice and early here, six o'clock in the morning. Back on the bikes again after probably a seven or eight days we've been here now. So okay, let's go. Oh, that's the restaurant there where we've been uh, eating the last three evenings. There's nobody left off. Six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Oh, final tour past the mosque here as we head through Samarkand and then we'll be heading out of Samarkand now. It's been a good week here. Bye -bye, mosque. Half a nature experience, we're in a kind of wood next to the road. And the hotel has made a little lunchbox for us for breakfast. So we set off before breakfast today, so that looks good, doesn't it? Wow. Well, yes. We'll sit here now and enjoy that. Hello. Today is 1st of August. Right about now, we should have actually been crossing the border to Tajikistan. But uh, as you may have seen in the news, there's some sad news of cyclists attacked, or seven cyclists attacked in Tajikistan on the road where we should have been cycling in about a week's time. So. We spent the last two days in the hotel, that's why there's been no video, just trying to decide what to do. But, uh, what we felt most comfortable with was uh, not going on the Pami Highway and um, just heading north now in Uzbekistan and we'll go through a valley and head to Osh and then we'll pick up the Pami Highway in Kyrgyzstan. So that's it really, not uh, the happy news, but uh, now we're back on the road. First time we've been on the road for I don't know how many days now. So, uh, so yeah, not an easy decision. We spent a lot of time yesterday talking about it, but that's what we decided to do in the end. So that's what we feel comfortable with now. So, so that's it. So um, we just had a nice uh, breakfast here. The hotel packed some breakfast for us, so we just enjoyed that. We had pancakes and things. So it was very nice. And just uh, sitting here on the side of the road in the shade and the. Uh, little forest so that was quite good yeah my first nature experience for a few weeks now uh, getting out of the city is it'd be nice to basically be on a real nature place again we'll see if we can in a few days time so. okay that's it for now we'll uh, get back on the bikes so it seems to be going quite easy today really uh, not much wind and so far it's fairly flat and good roads Okay, it's just nothing better when you're thirsty than finding a place where they sell freezing cold water. Never mind our fancy restaurants, there's nothing better than cold water. <laughs> okay, let's go. Think about Uzbekistan, every single day we've cycled these is these many people, no matter which direction we're going. No different today. But, uh, it's going okay, we've done 65 already. So. lunch break now, I think we've done about 75 kilometers, so change of tactics today because it's not so hot, so for 75 now we're going to have an afternoon rest here in this very traditional place, only Russian they speak here, <laughs> what was big, so. We <laughs> tried that friend from the hotel recommended that we bike to here, had lunch and had a sleep here on the, on the yeah, thingy here. And then um, like 25 kilometers to the next town where there is uh, hotels. So we are going to try that today instead of just staying in a hotel room all afternoon. Mm. In, in Bukhara it was really, really hot, like desert hot, terrible. And when we were cycling there, it was just from 5 o'clock in the morning until maybe 10, half past 10, it was okay. But after that it was just getting unbearable. Um, but from Samarkand, well, from the Sintils in Samarkand, it hasn't been that hot and not today either. It is hot but not unbearable. So now we'll try this uh, this today and see what what that's like, this tactic. Um, the heat now is, um, well, if you compare to Armenia when we were cycling there, it was hot there and it was 
but it was like European heat, like we know it, that it was just really hot and the sweat was pouring out of us, but still we could breathe, it was still like fairly fresh the air. But since uh, we came to Iran and Uzbekistan, then it has been like a completely different kind of heat where we are, we are warm uh, and hot, but not, not sweating. Um, but there's just no fresh air whatsoever, it's just yeah. Stifling oven heat. <laughs> yeah, it's just oven heat, but but better here from summer camp than, yeah. than today. Um, so without being able to speak a word of Uzbek or Russian, we got some really tasty kebabs, really fresh bread, really good yogurt. Now we just come with watermelon. Perfect. <laughs> now we're just going to have a sleep, I think. <laughs> Well, this is the benefit of a Persian style restaurant. After your lunch, you can go to sleep on the chair, on the table. <laughs> so, no sleeping time. Okay, that was 76 kilometers and a lunch and a sleep in the restaurant. We'll do another 30, I think, to a town called Jizax. Sounds like some kind of washing up powder, but. Uh, should be a nice town with a hotel, so let's see how that goes. That's our new, our new strategy. I mean, it's not as hot as it was before, so let's see how it goes. Stall after stall after stall after stall selling the same stuff. I see this all the time here in Uzbekistan. But there might actually be a hill in front of us. The first real hill we've seen was Uzbekistan. Too bad actually. Totally unexpected. Yeah. Just rolled into the town of Jizak here. It's a, our new strategy of uh, 75 kilometers of the morning and uh, the 25 of the afternoon. It worked quite well, really. Uh, we've got about five or six kilometers to go until we can find the hotel. So that was okay. Good day. Nice day on the bikes. First full day on the bike for a long time actually. So. That was great. Okay, now it's very hurting here because now we just have to dunk, to dunk, to dunk. Everywhere in the, I think 30 kilometers bumpy road. And now we are nearly with the destination and it's hurting so much in my hands. But quite a new city here. But unexpected when we just came through a barren uh, mountain landscape and then. Uh, Town appears here. Yeah. Uh, should be a hotel up here on the right. Hello. Hello. See if there's a space for us there. Drama theatre. Nice in these cities, there's pop up out of nowhere in the middle of the desert. Oh, 106 kilometres. Let's turn up here, completely unexpected. Modern place. I'll see if they have a room. <laughs> so, we were lucky, there was a room for us. Right by the uh, reception here, so we don't have to carry all the bags up the stairs. Looks like a brand new place. You just never know in the morning where you're going to end up. No. Once again, I thought we were going to bid some shabby run down hotel. But we come to a brand new hotel and a really nice modern town. 
Now I think, oh, it's a shame we weren't going to stay here one night. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it looks also, like they have a big burger restaurant next door, so it looks like it's going to be burger party. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Daddy good. have also written on uh, Google Maps, it's a new hotel. Mm -hmm. So that is tip top. Perfect. And the same yeah. I say again, you can never know what there will be in front of you. Mm -hmm. oh. Sleeping in a Persian restaurant for lunch into a brand new hotel in the evening. <laughs> now we really need a shower. Yeah. 107 kilometers, job done. Okay, now we are sitting here, and uh, now you can see we have a goldfish here. And uh, here is the goldfish, and this is our new friend today. So, yes. And now we are trying a new restaurant that called Star Burger. So, that is the place where we are eating today. That was the end of today. Um, our first day on the bikes in over a week. We've had a a week's break in Samarkand uh, wasn't the plan though is because when I filled out our Tajikistan e-visas I just had to make a quick estimation of the day we expected to to uh, cross into Tajikistan and I quickly made an estimation of the 1st of August but uh, I didn't realize that was the, the date that the visa would actually be valid from <laughs> so, and uh, we made good progress and got to Samarkand quite quickly so uh, I mean we've been hanging around there in Samarkand just waiting for today when we should have uh, crossed to Tajikistan. Of course, of the yeah tragedy that happened in uh, Tajikistan with touring cyclists on Sunday that uh, made us change our mind. Really, we didn't really feel comfortable when it wasn't just a normal accident. When it's something deliberate against touring cyclists, we didn't really feel uh, too comfortable. Even though all we hear out of Tajikistan is how what a great place it is and all these uh, amazing places you can stay and camp and wild camping and all the mountains and just uh, staying in different uh, guest houses it just sounds great but uh, yeah that's gonna have to wait for another time but uh, we've been on the bikes today we made another plan yesterday so we're heading north now to Uzbekistan and then we'll cross over actually back to Osh so we're picking up the Pami highway again so uh, just means you're cutting out a, a large part of it so another problem was that uh, if we actually entered Tajikistan a few days ago if we just steamed on into Tajikistan and then we realized that there was a problem we couldn't actually come back to Uzbekistan our visa in Uzbekistan is only a one a one entry that means that uh, once we cross to Tajikistan there's no way back that means we have to do the whole entire Pami Highway before we can get to Kyrgyzstan and that's uh, not the best situation if you realize that there's a uh, we don't uh, feel safe there so um, so now we're here on a different route actually a good day today it's the uh, first day we've biked all day um, from uh, six o'clock in the morning and we had a nice lunch you saw and a two hour rest there and we managed to bike another 30 kilometers after after lunch so 105 kilometers altogether that was, uh, that was good really a good day a little bit more interesting scenery is than uh, between Bukhara and Samarkand so that's good really so it's nice to be on the bike a nice hotel here we found a brand new hotel here so uh, that's also good well, we look forward now to getting in the mountains and camping again I think that will be uh, maybe Kyrgyzstan we can do that so that's what we miss. These hotels are nice, but we're really missing camping now. And, uh, being able to bike all day. First, the first day in a long time, the temperature's been uh, nice enough to bike all day. So that's it for today. We're up early again tomorrow, heading into another town. I think actually the next hotel is 117 kilometers away. That's uh, maybe possible if we do it in two two stages like today. We'll see. We'll see. But. Uh, we're on the road again in the morning. Okay, see you in the morning.